Great Lakes is not only full of fish, but it's full of beautiful scenery. Vast amount of forest and open water. Sometimes you won't even see a boat for days. The abundance of life up here this time of year is insane because they don't have very long to get it done. We are officially Youpers, baby. We're going up to the Youper Peninsula. This is two Texans heading up to fish the Great Lakes and experience a totally different fishery than what we're used to. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. I got it. Came and grilled it. Gotta respect the heart of a small mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and the series sponsored by Ketchco. This is Unthawed. So this is gonna be a four part series. The Dangle up north, the great Dangle up north. I'm here with my buddy and Google Squad Manager, Matt Kendrick. We're coming from Texas. We flew into Chicago. We're in Green Bay right now in front of Lambeau Field, the famous stadium where the Packers play. And we're journeying on into the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Where we're going, it's, it's incredible walleye fishery. Uh, it's, it's been known here in the last few years for a great smallmouth, all sorts of other species. They have muskie, they have pike. It's a lot different than what we're used to down in Texas, just giving them big old bass as a dangle. So we're gonna go experience new fisheries, new ways of catching fish. We're taking you along for the ride. And since we're in Wisconsin right now, and they have the greatest cheeses in the world, we gotta go find it. We got to go find them cheeses. So let's go eat some squeakies. So we just had a little warm up, eating some cheese curds, some fried cheese curds, not the actual. We actually talked to the waiter, you know, like, hey, what's the deal on these curds, man? I know these are like, restaurant style like he said you got to stop on the road get some squeaky curds that means they're fresh some unfried so we're heading to a spot right now to go try out some fresh cheese curds and then we're gonna make way towards the upper peninsula which once you get up in the upper peninsula of Michigan uh, I'll be honest with you I didn't even know the upper peninsula was like part of the state it, it looks like Canada on the map it's just basically is Canada. So it's it's the west area off of Lake Michigan and there's just very low population. It is in the wilderness. So we're not gonna see many folks while we're up here. And that's what makes the fishing great. You know, the upper, upper part of the state is a lot less pressured. So a lot of these fish are just, they're not seeing lures. And they're coming up, they're spawning spawn right now they are hungry and some of these fish I guarantee you they've never seen a lot formed so this is before they're into a block or a slice it's the rawest form of cheese it's like little nuggets so we've had them fried you know but this is this is the actual way you want to try them so just side of the road cheese curds what do you got man you got some i got some boat snacks boat snacks little little minis <laughs> i mean i figured we're Put in 20 hours. Like little drop shot baits right there. <laughs> we might catch a salmon or two on them. This is more cheese. We will. We'll be having owls. We'll be having some problems. Blocked for a week. What do we got here? Oh, beer cheddar cheese. Beer cheddar. Okay. All right, we're done, folks. We're gonna get a full variety of cheese curds here. Getting the full Wisconsin experience. Well, thanks for stopping. Thank you so much. Yeah, we might be back. You have a great day. Awesome. You too. Thanks. See you. Mm -hmm. Bye now. We got our cheese. We're loaded up on cheese. We got our new Glarus, Brews, Spotted Cows. We are officially Youpers, baby. We're going up to the Youper Peninsula. Here we 
go. Here he is. Look. What? What there you got we go. there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like stealing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me you just rolled out there and it's it's lights out. He has no grab. What? On his boat. Why do you not have a grab? He got so excited he he went out without it. Acts like I've never cut a smallmouth. All that water doesn't look bad. It's not it's not choppy. The report is good. The report is good. I I can relate to this. This is similar to like when I fished in rainy. You get these little reed stick ups and there's like gravel in it and they like to spawn in those little protected reed clumps and then uh, they're just hitting baits multiple times when you throw in there because they're protecting it they're protecting their bed oh baby well, Woo! you pumped now i'm pumped dude i i've already got these fish dialed <laughs> you haven't even thrown a cast in yet. my brain it's it's done okay Let's go get the PB. Just finished up our grocery shopping, fixing to head to the lake house, and it is time to let our cheese curds. We also uh, found out we lost an hour. Yes. Which we didn't even know. We were very know. confused. Didn't, we're, know, didn't we're, know there was a time change going straight north. In the great north, we lost an hour. So the cheese curds have been sitting out for a few hours. Oh, dude, they smell amazing. So it's 9 p.m. and it's still freaking light as day out here. Yeah, there's so much. It's like being in Alaska. We also Turn found out Turn left onto they don't stop Street selling Street. liquor in the state of Michigan. They just don't. It's, it's when, never when ending. people are coming up here to get their, their lake adventures, they let them have a good time. Yeah, if you want to buy whiskey at midnight from Meyer over here, they're all for it. Okay. Cheese curd, my friend. Thank you. Cheddar. See if it squeaks in your mouth. Put it in your teeth. Oh, it squeaked. It squeaked. It is. Mm hmm. I. Oh yeah. I just got one. Hmm. That's squeaking. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mm. Turn left onto North Twenty Sixth Street. Oh yeah, it's squeaking. That's some good cheese. Damn. <laughs> it's like a squeegee. <laughs> it's like a squeegee. <laughs> Got it, man. It's going down. This one might be a little too much. Maybe not. Our man is coming in. Starts off the water. He stayed a little bit longer than what he said, so he might have been on a little I something. I think he got on a little something. Yeah. That is a 350 horsepower engine, I want you to know. This guy has got the biggest bass boat in America. <laughs> it's like a 22 and a half footer with a 350 Merc on it. Coming in, he just backed this thing in an eight foot wide slot like it was a bicycle. Impressive. Let's get some let's get some on the water tips from our man. What's up? What's up, man? So you on. back that thing in here like you've done it a time or two. I'm once or twice. Yeah. Hey me and run. What's up? What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Folks, this is Mr. Jeremy Starks. He is a uh, professional <laughs> Uh, uh, professional. I, I still call you professional. Um, used professional to hunter. Now I'm just a fisherman. Uh, you know, you're the man behind Bass Mafia, really. Well, well you know, we have a partnership with Bass now Mafia. I'm just a wannabe. You you want to go out there and catch smallmouth all day long is what you. That's want what to I want to be doing. That's what I love about you. Yeah. I mean, last week we had stupid weather, which was I mean, good weather on Lake Erie. We caught salmon and 
and so giant on. small mouth and trout. You got to get on that next year. I know you Facetime me every time you yeah, get these I things on. You're like, you can't get on. You got to. I couldn't so, help it. <laughs> the action's hot wherever you are, and we're here with you. So Man, today, um, I really wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was because it was really windy. When I come around that point, I mean, it was muddy. So I was a little worried when I come in that pocket near that bay, you know, we call it a pocket, but you know, it's Watch three out. miles long. I thought it was gonna be blowed up and it wasn't. So we find clear water tomorrow, we're gonna crush it. So sunlight, clear water is key. Is, well, cl clear water is huge right now. Okay, they gotta see each other. They gotta. They're, they're wanting to mate. Well, if they're not, if they're in there on a the bed and a bunch of mud blows in, they're gonna move out. Okay. So we want the ones that are staying put. Okay, this man's got a ton of knowledge. I'm telling you, we're gonna go out early in the morning. What's what's early here? Because the sun comes 3 up in like three a.m. I'm hours. thinking because it's ten o'clock and it's daylight. <laughs> I mean, I was out there fishing. I thought it was like seven thirty and it was nine forty. I'm like, I gotta get back. Uh, just just so you guys know, it, you can still see a little bit of light in the, in the skyline, and it is ten fourteen p.m. That is crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean crazy. So. I'm thinking Matt what? wants to get up at 2.45. No. No. Listen, <laughs> we've already discussed the strategy. We'd like to go find a diner in the morning, oh my drink some coffee. God. I know Jeremy's not going to put up with this. I know he's not going to put up with this. We need a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need to drive out of state. i got to believe they're only going to eat at Topwater for a certain amount of time in the morning. No, they're eating it all day. All day is well here. It's possible. Okay. So we're rigging up tackle right now, and we're also thinking about our, our, our objectives for this week. You know, the last time me and Matt went out in Buffalo with Jeremy, it was tough. I did catch my personal best smallmouth bass. It was a 6.5. It's a giant. I don't expect to break that this week. But it was tough conditions. We didn't catch many fish. I, I think Matt only got like one or two. Like it was, it was rough. So. We want to catch a bunch of smallmouth. First objective, we want to try to catch 100 smallmouth in a day in our boat. 100 smallmouth. Next, break Matt's personal best, which is, I think, three and a half pounds. They have a healthy population of three to four pounders in here. They even got some fives. I think we're going to get that done. That's going to be a special moment. We also need to eat some decent food because last time we were in Buffalo on the Great Lakes catch a smallmouth, I'm pretty sure I got worms from some, some buffalo wings. <laughs> I was convinced I had worms swimming around in my stomach. It was terrible. And speaking of eating, we want to catch some of the tastiest fish ever in fresh water. The walleye, maybe a perch, put those in some grease, cook them up somehow. They are the tastiest fish. These northern fish, they grow slower, colder water. It, it's amazing. Walleye's the tastiest. And you know what? We think there's going to be a fire bite going on here. So we got some other interesting challenges and developments that we're going to be working on that you guys are going to want to stay in tune for. So right now we're going to rig up a couple of the key things. Hopefully we can get this dialed into like a couple of rods as we get out there. Uh, but I'm hoping in the morning they're just on that top water bite and it's going get blasted. Sun came up at like 4.30 this morning. I was already jazzed, ready to go. So we just fueled up, we got some food, we're putting it in the boat. Today's the day. We're getting to experience what this bite is actually like. We're gonna have to dial it in, get things figured out. That's always the most exciting part of the trip to me. It's like the first time, the first voyage going out there trying to learn what is gonna be the juice, you know? What are you gonna have to do? It's, it's the mind game. The wind is blowing a little bit. Hopefully the waves are not going to be too big and we're going to be able to get in a nice calm spot and just start ripping them out. Hopefully our boat ride's not going to be too bad. And we're going to get straight to it, baby. First fish is worth $75. The most fish is worth most fish, yeah, 300. And yeah, the no, biggest the, fish. no, 50 a piece. That's 150. Oh no, with 150 on yeah. the, 150 on most, and 150, 150 on, on the biggest. biggest. Money on the line, and pride. 
What it's am always I do with my three hundred and seventy-five dollars? I'm about to buy. You already okay. said Okay, you want to have a sad bet? See if he actually wins. <laughs> Buy you some regular and jeans. <laughs> Listen, you're gonna let if a man get shot by guys in skinny, skinny jeans. jeans. I'm swimming back. Y'all can have the boat. I quit. <laughs> All right. The Great Lakes is kind of a giant aquarium experiment. Over the course of the last hundred years, they've they've put in species to control other species that get out of control and they put in other species so there's all sorts of stuff in here but today it's all about the brown fish the beautiful bronze backs and we're going to try to catch a hundred we're here it's time it's time talking over about to grab this rod and yank on one Starting out, baby bull shad, swimming it up top. Let's get her done, baby. If I get, if I get first blood here, we need to you boys it. better believe I'm pulling a, a lobe out of that cooler over there and shotgunning on the deck right here in front of you boys. I would expect no layup. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna cut it right, go a little deeper. Yep. Got him. God. God dang, dang it. <laughs> You gotta get him in the boat, though. Oh, golly. <laughs> Welcome to Lake Michigan. <laughs> Baby. Look at that, man. That's a good first fish. Gosh, that's my PB right there. <laughs> I'll take that as a start. <laughs> good first launch fish. You don't get a shotgun in your beer. I know. <laughs> that's a good fish. That's an awesome fish, dude. Just a linebacker. Look how fat the tail. Well, it's gotta be more. Seventy-five dollars. It's gotta be more than that here. You don't even want to weigh that one. That could be the biggest one. Oh, that ain't gonna be the biggest. That might be your biggest, but that ain't gonna be the biggest we're getting today. This whole big bay is just really shallow, five, six foot. But we're up here in two and a half right now. But we're looking for these reeds. There's certain bottom that these reeds are growing in, and you can tell. I mean, you don't get bit until you get around those reeds, and they're spawning at the bottom of them. You'd think they'd just be in some of this big gravel bottom, but they're not. They're always around those reeds. Got him. Got him? Yep. First fish on. Not a giant. Double. Double. Doubled up. Oh, 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 I want to join the party. <laughs> oh. Got eight pound Wait, line here. Him and he come on. A little bit of difference. Here we go. My first official Lake Michigan smallmouth. Not a giant, but gosh, you know I gotta get him a sniff. Oh, yeah. Get some of that goo on the tip of my nose. Keep smelling it for a while. Okay, we'll let this fish go. Look how fat they are up here. Just healthy butter balls. See you, baby. So that's five? That's five. Five. Many more We're to go. 100. We're only at the first spot. This place is gigantic. We have a pattern now, just gotta run it. There is, uh, so we got beds sitting right in front of us. These so dark holes. Beds right here. And there are people, there's not people, but there's fish in them. <laughs> there's, they're in there. All right, he just picked it up. Oh, he moved it. Moved it. Oh, that's a decent one, dude. Yeah, that's what this I saw. Him. I this can is, see this, from here. That's why I knew it's he was going doing. down. Matt's gonna be mad when you catch him. The great thing about smallmouth is they're just so aggressive on bits. Normally, you just bring them up. Got him. That's a good one. Oh, look how black, dude. That's that, a that, good one. That's a solid fish there. But if you get big fish on this one, it don't <laughs> count because I let Come you have on, that man. one. <laughs> That's a growed one. That's a growed one. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Nah, he just picked it up slowly. You know, I should have let him catch that one because that would have been his personal best. <laughs> My smell. <laughs> Let's get this guy landed. Eight pound line. I'm gonna say that's a three and a half. Bit. Oh no! 
He basically landed. We'll count him. You know, Backwater had to get his little shots and everything of him. You were helping him out, playing with him. <laughs> yeah. I felt the fight. It was it was all there, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're gonna shut it down right here because we're we're just getting warmed up. We're getting dialed, and the really the next objective on this next video that you guys are gonna see is us trying to get this 100 mark. We're just starting to to get the baits figured out, get the pattern figured out. We've come up here, we've seen the lake. Uh, we've done a lot today in today's video. So stick around, subscribe, and you're gonna see hopefully 100 smallmouth caught in one day out of a boat. Possibly even Matt's personal best broken and just some amazing good times up here at Lake Michigan. So thank you guys for tuning in today. I will see you soon. Good luck in all of your dangles.